guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been meaning to do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... let me just take my breath for a minute. My hair is looking fabulous. Okay, so I wanted to make this video to let you guys know. Um, if you haven't seen my recent video um, at the pool, <laughs> sorry, just like walking down here, that like, kind of wears me out. I have bad asthma. And that's not really a thing, like, that you can really deal with. So, you know, bad asthma. But the thing is, if you didn't see my pool video, I don't even have enough to breath to talk right now. If you didn't see my pool video where I was at the pool saying I was at the hospital for an anxiety attack, I was at the, I went to the hospital. Um, so sorry. Uh, still have bad anxiety. It's kind of why I can't talk right now. But, I'm just going to try to get the breath to do it. Okay. So, um, it was just, it was just, it, it's, it's kind of anxiety, kind of like you don't know when it's going to happen, you know? You never expect it to happen. So, something you didn't know, I recently went to the hospital because of an anxiety attack. Um, I had a bad anxiety attack. Anxiety runs in my family. Really bad. And it was the, it was the, the real, it was the real anxiety attack I really had. I have to keep stopping, having trouble breathing right now. I'm so sorry, I cannot breathe very well. And, uh, asthma. <laughs> and anxiety runs in my family, right? So, this isn't the first time I've experienced, like, anxiety attacks and stuff. Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety with that. With that being said, I've never had a real anxiety attack that sent me to the hospital. This is my first one. Never really had an anxiety attack, but I have, I have anxiety flares. If, whatever you want to call them. When you have, like, anxiety bursts, that's from the people here. But, like, so, yeah, if you didn't want to know, I just want to let you guys know I'm okay. And I just want to talk to you about how it happened and what my anxiety is like. And what anxiety is like. And if you have anxiety, God bless you. God bless you. You know that? I'm not a religious person. And I'm not, like, religious. But, seriously, God bless you. And girls on their period. Hey, Zeus, everything. May the force be with you if you have anxiety and you're on your period. Which is what's kind of going on with me right now. Um, I will get into the story. Story time. Um, so I was listening. I was in the car, right? I was in the car just one day, and it, it was. I'm just gonna say it was. It was the day after my mom and dad got into a huge argument, yelling, screaming, and it got really bad. Like it was just yelling and screaming. But 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 it wasn't like they always calmed down. Like they never hit me or never hit each other. My parents just let's just make it clear before someone starts reporting shit and getting mad. My parents have never laid one hand on me and never will. And have never gotten my face. Have never done anything. But they have gotten each other's face, and that has made my anxiety bad. Just even someone just even like literally lightly bickering. Like I fucking hate you. You're an asshole. That will get my anxiety up. But um. And I, I calmed myself down. I thought everything was okay. I was in the car listening to music, right? And my ears started ringing. And I thought maybe because I was blasting music too loud. Because I do blast my music loud. I'm just like, fuck yeah! Whoa, let's get the party started! Yeah, so I was just, I turned the music down a little bit, right? And my ears kept ringing. And then I then it got to the point where I couldn't breathe. So I um, I opened my door and I thought, well, maybe I was just getting overheated. Because I like to sit in the truck and like make myself sweat sometimes. Because I heard it's good for your, I don't know, don't, don't do it. And plus, I get in the truck to talk and think to myself. Because we're living in a hotel room. Uh, as you guys know that story, and I don't really have my own room unless I go to the bathroom and chill. Like, I, I, find, any, I find any place to meditate and chill. I meditate a lot. So I was out here <sighs> blasting music in my headphones. I turned the music down because I had to because it was, like, so loud. I thought maybe that's why my ears were ringing. So I opened the door to um, get some air, and it wouldn't stop. Then it got to the point where I couldn't read what, like, my phone was saying. I couldn't read what anything was saying. Like, I couldn't read, um... I don't even think, I don't even think I can remember even reading, like, I can't even think right now, like, I don't even think I can remember even reading, like, anything, like, I couldn't read anything on my phone, like, everything was blurry, I couldn't see shit, so I stumbled up the stairs to my hotel room with my mom and dad, and I, I told my mom, I said, I think I'm having, something's going on with me, and I, and I eat tacos and hot sauce, maybe we thought I was allergic to the hot sauce, but I've always been able to take hot shit, I've never been allergic to hot stuff, I have always, 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 always ate hot stuff with everything and I've been fine. I want to do the ghost pepper challenge but that's probably off the table now because of what happened. Um, so yeah. So I went inside, I sat down, and my mom, she is used to this. Mom has been in the hospital at least 30 times a year, honestly, 30 times a year. <sighs> Exaggeration, probably like, seriously, if we're, if we're really gonna get, like, if we're really gonna get particular here on how many times she goes a year, probably 12. 
because of her anxiety attacks and her blood pressure. One time it got so high, her blood pressure was like 200 over like 189 or some shit. And um, so I went in there and, and my mom told me to relax. And I tried, no matter how, this is the thing with anxiety. If you have anxiety, you understand. You, no matter how hard you try to calm down, you just be like, you can't. Anxiety takes over, okay? You can try all you want. And I'm sorry to say, if you're new on anxiety, you can't beat it. I am so, so sorry. And if you can beat it, more power to people who, who can fucking chill, calm themselves out on anxiety attack. Good for you. I'm happy for you. And I'm glad that you can get yourself through that. And I'm very proud of you. I am very proud who can ever get yourself through anxiety because anxiety sucks. And God bless you if you have it. And just, so... I stood up because I freak out when I can't breathe because I have bad asthma too and I haven't I don't remember last time I even I don't even remember I don't even remember my inhaler is so I went outside I was shaking my legs around and I said mom I can't breathe and she said she she got mad at me because my mom's the kind of person that she will get pissed when she's scared like so she was like sit the fuck down and relax because she was scared that something was going on with me and she my if you have a parent or if you have a sibling that's like that you understand it's called angry scared where they get mad like when they get scared they say calm the fuck down or shut the fuck up but they don't mean to be that way they mean they want to they're scared they're scared and i understand that's why i didn't take it personal because i know that's what my mom is my mom will be scared for me and, and at the same time she'll say shut the fuck up erica sit down and relax but i know she really means is honey you need to relax it's gonna be okay <laughs> okay so i sat down right and then it got to the point where I couldn't even hold up something as simple as a foam cup. I was that weak. I was just like this. And I dropped it. And my mom looked over at me like, you, you okay? And I was like, mom, I need to go to the hospital. So she got ready and she took her time because she wanted to make sure it was relevant. And she's like, yep, we have to go. And, she, you know, my dad stayed at the hotel. Um, I think because I don't know why. But I think dad didn't have any time. He had to put water in the truck. We had to go, 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 go. We got there. I could barely walk there. I almost fell. My dad and mom had to help me up to the hospital. Got in there, laid down. Told me I haven't told. I, now we weren't. We wasn't for sure. We, I was having an anxiety attack. We didn't know what it was at all. I mean, mom had a hunch, but we thought maybe it was the salsa allergic. But it, 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 it didn't make, ugh, that didn't make any sense because I've never been allergic to hot stuff. I've always loved hot stuff. Always. Never affected me except for when I used the bathroom. <laughs> but. uh... <sighs> Yeah, we went in there, I laid down, couldn't breathe, they did an x-ray, one of those things where there's six sticky things on there, did the clips, if you know what I'm talking about, if you go to the hospital a lot, I, I should know all this, I've been to the hospital so many times with my mom and stuff, and uh, everything was perfectly fine, I was getting 100% oxygen, uh, so that, those are the, so all of that led, my blood pressure was 136 over 80 something, I think so, so mom said that was not good, uh, and so did the doctor said that was, um, doctors and nurses said that was not good, and so, um, Uh, um, but yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm sorry. I was laying there and they said, it all points to an anxiety attack. And she was like, knew it in my family. So they gave me really good med. They calmed me down, helped me so much, made me feel so better. And I don't want to start crying because I know that anxiety sucks. And if you have anxiety and I'm serious, not, not, I mean, not, not like the people who were like, oh, I get stressed out easy. No, if you have real anxiety, Honestly, if you are the ones, now I'm talking about the ones who have anxiety where they can't breathe. I'm not talking about little spoiled ass kids and I'm not be and I'm not being mean to kids. I love kids. I'm a kid person saying that I can't breathe. I have problems. You need to be mature about it, first of all, and you need to say, I have anxiety. You need to stand yourself up because more power to people who can fight that shit because you really can't fight anxiety. It's anxiety and panic disorders. You have all that stuff. God bless you. I am so sorry because now I understand what it was really like. I don't want to start crying because I do not want to go through it again. I never, ever, ever want to go through something like that again because when you have a real first anxiety attack, it was a real major anxiety attack. He was, I was just sitting in the truck like this, and she, my mom kept asking me if mom kept asking me if I was okay. I was like, yeah, and I couldn't talk or I couldn't breathe. I was, oh, I was this close to passing out, this close. And I could have passed out, and I just don't want to do it again. And I begged the doctors when I was on that hospital bed. They said they were asking me and mom if we wanted to give us meds. They were really asking mom if it okay if I gave her meds, and I answered for mom. I said yes. I need something because please, and I begged them, I said, please do not make me go through this again. Give me something to help. Because like I said, you can't control it. You can, you, you can, you can, 
You can get a text from someone saying, my dog just died or something, and then they're really upset, and that can just make you have anxiety attack. That's how easy I get stressed out and anxiety attack and stuff. You can't control it. If you say you can control it, then you obviously don't have real anxiety, and this freaking ring is turning my finger green. And you just, you just, I love all of you to have anxiety. I, I love, that sounded so wrong. I did not mean to say it that way. I meant to say, I love all of you who have, who have anxiety. I said to have anxiety. I love all of you who have anxiety, panic disorders. I love all of you in general. If you have any sort of disorder that, that makes you have those anxiety attacks and those, those just horrible, horrible things, I am so here for you and I am here for you anytime you want to talk. Um, honestly, I want to give my information out right now. Um, if you have bad anxiety and you want to talk to me, I'm going to put my information down below in the description. All right. All of it. I'm going to put my Instagram. You can text me on Instagram. I, I'm not going to put my number and my phone number because first of all, my phone's not on right now. And second of all, I don't want everyone knowing my, like my phone number, you know? creepers who watch this sometimes but real people I'm talking real people who have bad anxiety and need someone to talk to to calm them down I'm here for you I want you to text me on Instagram you can text me on messenger you can find me on Facebook if you have a Facebook I don't have a like thing yet you can add me on there until I make a like a like official YouTube like Facebook thing I'm working on that um you can text me on Facebook Instagram you can text me you can find me on Wattpad I will put I will put everything you can find me on down in the description below for people who have bad anxiety but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm okay hopefully not going back to the hospital and I love you all so much and oh another thing uh in the hospital we asked them we said does this have anything to do with hormones like could she be starting because I haven't started yet for all the girls actually Yesterday, like the day before, the day when this happened, I was in the hospital, I hadn't started yet. Came home, next day, woke up. Hi, Aunt Flo. <laughs> Hi, Devil's Waterfall. Uh, my Aunt Flo came for a visit. If you don't know what that means, I, I started my cycle, period, thing. Uh, I'm sorry to the men who watch this. I don't really talk about girl things. Like, I'm sorry to the guy fans I have. I'm not going to talk about, I'm just, the first time I talk about this stuff. I'm a gamer. I don't talk about this shit. But I'm just saying... Hi, Aunt Flo. Uh, she came the day before yesterday, so now I'm officially a woman. And this is why I like nurses, because the nurses said that it did have something to do with it, and the doctors said they didn't. This is why men should not be doctors for girls, because they have no idea what hormones are. But, like, yeah. I love you guys so much. That was story time. I'm a woman. I have anxiety. And it, it's also because uh, uh, God bless you. Uh, more power. More power in the world to you, if, especially if you're on your period and have anxiety. Oh, girl, I am so sorry. And guys who have anxiety, I realize that too. Love you too. I support you. Guys, girls, whoever you want to contact me. Guys, you contact me for sex and pictures, you don't contact me at all. Uh, if you can't, that's it. God, I, now, girls, you, I, now, I don't ever have an unappreciated vagina pic from girls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do not send me nudes. Do not send me nudes. I will block you. I will report you. Um... Uh, cause I have a girlfriend. If I didn't have a girlfriend, go uh, have at it, but I do have a girlfriend. And if I didn't have a girlfriend, I would not want your news. So, all my stuff down below in the description, check it out. It will be down there, I promise. And you will contact me if you have anxiety. Do not think twice. Just contact whatever I give you. Message me on Instagram. I will be there for you. I will try my hardest if you have, if you want someone to talk to. And if you want, I will give you a shout out in one of my videos. If you want me to, I will totally do that. If you're if you're getting your YouTube channel started, if you want me to, if you want uh, a shout out for me, the 27 subscriber girl, uh, <laughs> I will get. Oh, and thank you guys so much for 27 subscribers. I know it's not much, but I still like to do a congratulation because I got three new, eight new ones actually. Uh, welcome eight, welcome fabulous eight, welcome to this channel. This is where we do weird stuff. Uh, crack video number 11 is coming out tomorrow doubt or tonight you never know you never know what i'll do so i love you guys so much contact me uh if you have it if you ha have anxiety attack or if you need someone just to talk to and even if you don't have anxiety you just need someone to talk to contact me love you guys so much stay unique my beautiful black cat and i'll see you guys in the next video bye